Hey guys, welcome to our kitchen. I'm so excited to be here with you today. As any parent can tell you, sometimes cooking for your kids can be a real challenge. So I thought I'd show you how we like to do things here in our house. Got our fresh ingredients here. I always like to go organic when I can. I know it costs a little bit more, but I always think it's worth it. So I got my oven preheated to 375 degrees. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna preheat my cast iron pan here on the stove. Now while that's heating up, let's prepare the salmon. A little salt, a little pepper. You don't need much to bring out the flavor of the fish, especially if you're using a nice wild salmon. Extra virgin olive oil here across the top. It's gonna keep it from sticking to the pan. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it flesh side down in the hot pan, just like this. Oh, listen to that. Just beautiful. What I'm doing right now is I'm searing the fish, which is gonna seal in all that delicious moisture, all that delicious flavor, all that good stuff. Once that's done searing, I'm gonna flip it back over and I'm gonna put the whole pan right into the oven. Now while that's cooking, I can prep our slaw. I've got our red cabbage, some green cabbage, some carrots, some red peppers, a little kale, I like to add that for flavor and nutrition. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix it up with a little sauce. I have this knock chan sauce. Hey, you saying that right? I have no idea, but it is delicious. I'm gonna stir all these things up. Oh, the flavors coming off there are just remarkable. Let's check in on our salmon, shall we? Oh my God, that is delicious. Only it's salmon. I'm gonna take that salmon filet, I'm just gonna place it right there on top of the slaw. Did you look at that? Oh, get a shot of this. This is magical. A little salt on the top there to taste. Healthy, nutritious. Delicious. Now, if your kids are anything like mine, they're not gonna to wanna to touch this with a 10-foot pole. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna avoid the 20 minutes of arguing back and forth, trying to convince them to eat it, and I'm just gonna scrape the whole thing into the garbage bin. Compost if you have it. Now, I also like to let out a disappointed sigh as I'm scraping the remnants of my hard work into the trash bin. It accomplishes nothing, but it does let my kids know that I'm probably gonna yell at them later in the evening for something unrelated due to the disappointment and the frustration that I'm bottling up inside of me right now. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go to the freezer and you're going to pull out some frozen fish sticks or chicken fingers. I have fish sticks on hand for myself. What you're going to do is you're going to dump these onto a random baking tray that you have lying around the kitchen. You're going to pop this tray into the oven which is still hot from your previous failure. Ooh. Yeah, just as easy as that. In 12 to 15 minutes, you're gonna have a meal that is lacking in nutrition and flavor, but your kids are probably gonna eat it. Well, thanks so much for joining us. Please feel free to let us know some of your favorite recipes that your kids refuse to eat in the comments section below. We'll see you next time. That was a big waste of about $20 worth of salmon. It's still good, I think, isn't it? delicious even when it's covered in trash. <laughs>